Tattoo here, welcome to my channel. I am going to show you my Christmas trees because oh, there's my mum and dad looking over there. Hello mum, hello dad. Um, because th th one of them's a little bit unusual, well, not for me, but you know, you might think, is that really a Christmas tree? But you know, there you go. So I'm going to show you that first. Gonna go and walk over here amongst the devastation of the, the devastation of what Holly's just done. And this is my first tree. You know, this is over in the corner because it's the best place for it. It is a black Christmas tree. And what I've done with this is I made the um, pentagram on there and I've put like organic stuff on there like cinnamon and um, pumpkins and um, orange and apples and acorns and things to go on there. And that's my tree topper in here. In here is some angel wings to represent my mum. And then we've got a member all. We've got some um, silver bells. We've got some silver baubles. We've got a skull. We've got a skeleton on a toilet, which says, what does it say? It says, oh, there it is. It says that uh, the best seat in the house. Ben's got his hat on. I've got a little one I got from a little um, Christmas tree shop up in Neil Chelmsford and it's a bee. Um, I've got like a gothic sort of angel. I've got a little hummingbird that I got from the um, store. That apple there has been in my on my tree ever since the children was little. So that represents that. I've got some silver um, things there. We've got some pumpkins there we've got some bauble, black and white baubles there a pumpkin um we've got a brussels sprout or a nut there that belonged on the tree when the children were growing up we've got some berries like mistletoe berries we have got a, a holly there another holly we've got these bees that were made from amethyst um, my friend Vicky from Amsterdam Healing. Um, we've got this lovely um, apple that I bought from the little store as well. Yeah, it's like got all like crystal kind of things on it. We've got some silver bells. We've got a little um, fairy. We've got some orange ball balls. We've got a gremlin there. We've got a raven there we've got gizmo there some silver bells we've got my little skull that i originally got from the occult box christmas box quite a few years ago now that goes on my tree every year we've got another holly there we've got a ghosty we've got I don't think he's not been more like there's a Jessie cat there, a tuxedo there. There's another tuxedo cat there. Um, where else? We've got some. What we got down here? We've got another tuxedo cat there. We've got another gremlin there. We've got another tuxedo cat there doing something else. We've got a ghosty there. Right, we've seen that and we, we've got a little pumpkin thing that I made for baubles. We've got some um, wooden, um, what do you call them, snowflakes. We've got a little girl with a pumpkin. Oops. We've got another taxi. Oh no, it's the same taxi. So I've got there in it. We've got quite a few sort of like cats and that on here. So this is kind of my gothic, right, sort of like my, yeah, my witchy gothic sort of like tree. Um, it's not as got many as um, um, sort of Halloween stuff as last year because I found the original, my, a lot of my original um, things there. Um, where's that? that that's... Did you see that one? That one's another one. Don't know if you see that one already. But um, yeah, so this is my tree in my front room. And um, yeah, so there's Billy and Dora in there. And. Um, Lily looking over the place so yeah 
So this is my traditional tree, what I would call my traditional tree. And oh, this is my hall. This is another pentagram, pentagram I made with like more Christmassy stuff, uh, traditional Christmas stuff. There's angel wings on here above a picture of my mum with um, mum's dog that was growing up Goldie. So that's my mum in there. We've got some more angel wings to represent. Paul's mum and Auntie Maureen. They've got this lovely poodle that I named Paul's last year. And I've got a thing that says mum there. I've got one that says Nanny Jean. Um, I've got some gingerbread here. And this was on my tree when the children were growing up as well. It's just fell off. Some gingerbread there. I'll put that up in a minute. There's Lily. There's a, there's a moment there. Lily there. Her dog Lily. Mum's dog. And then we've got this lovely poodle that Jesse bought us one year. Got some angel wings there because Lily's passed. We've got a picture of Lily and Dora. We've got the names of, her, of the children, Emma, and then down here is Logan and Lily. We've got Jesse and Billy down there. We've got some, oh, really, some gingerbread there. Gingerbread man, we've got a little elf. We've got some traditional kind of um, black, um, orange, oh, it's orange, it's red and it, red and thing. Oh, we've got lights as well, sorry, put them on. I've got to have, um, what do you call it in here, uh, batteries, because I've got no point for the actual glowing, so I had to put the batteries on. <laughs> so I'll show you all the glowing. That's why it wasn't looking right. Oh, I'm an idiot, I know. Right, so that's laying on. Yeah, they're on. They're all on now. So yeah, so we've got some more angel wings, like I said. Um, we've got some gingerbread over there. We've got some red ball balls. We've got um, this this that I bought for my mum, especially because she loved robins. And we've got a um, snowflake there. We've got Billy's name and a gingerbread above it, but that will be changing to Pip. Because until we get her, um, one of these, we haven't got one for Pip. Might we want to put a, a picture in a um, frame for her, I think. You've got one of the Tiziso cats here. There is one of the Hollies here. There is a granddad and a grandma representing me and Paul. And then we've got an elf called Logan and an elf called Lily. And some more gingerbread. So this is our Christmas tree out in the hall. I quite like it, so it looks nice. So let's miss this up a little bit. My wreath I normally up up with bats, put some orange baubles on it. Well, it's a little bit messy here, but I've got some um, stockings there for me and Paul, and uh, one that says you're an, a star or an angel or something, and I, I put my pumpkin things there and that, uh, make it look a bit more Christmassy with them. And then I put the Christmas, Merry Christmas up here. I'm in two minds whether to actually colour it, like paint it, but I quite like it like that, really. So that's the extent of my Christmas decorations. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my um, Christmas decorations. I can't see the right, oh, sorry. Christmas decorations. Um, I really do like both my trees. I'm really happy with both of them. Hopefully Paul doesn't lose the... The things again and he's also lost my lovely elves and that i had made from amethyst moon healing i was really upset about that but it is what it is and it and it ain't what it ain't so anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna sit down because my legs are right enough to doing that for that time a little bit of time yeah so if you're new to my channel hello welcome hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed looking at my christmas trees and um I hope that you have a lovely day, morning, night, evening, good everything. I hope you have a blessed your season or happy Christmas, Merry Christmas or holidays, whatever you want to say. Um, and hopefully you come back and you watch my Advent series. I'd appreciate that because like, I really am really happy with all my Advent calendars this year. They, some of them are different for me, so yeah. Anyway, take care everybody. I'll see you in the next Pink Poodle too. Always remember, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. 
and I got my mum and dad watching me there and my Ethan and Jesse when they were young. That's 17 years ago, that picture. Time flies, don't it? Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.